in the most basic form, the immune system protects us against uh, bacteria and viruses. Uh, but I like to explain to patients that in autoimmune diseases, the immune system has made a mistake. Uh, and it begins to have difficulty differentiating between self and not self. So the immune system can still go around and say, oh, this is a strep, let's kill it. Oh, this is a flu virus, let's kill it. But then it gets to the lining of the joint. So, gee, I don't know what this is. Let's attack it anyway. Sometimes, without rhyme or reason, we don't know why it attacks just one hand versus not the other hand, or why it attacks the brain or the thyroid or, or, the, or the gut. It, it can it attack different areas. Many people with autoimmune diseases, at least before they get controlled, have a lot of symptoms that make life hard. So joint pain is common, weakness, fatigue, difficulty sleeping. You know, these are all things that really adversely affect a person's quality of life and it's very gratifying when you can make those things better. Depending on what type of autoimmune disease it is, the treatment can vary. And it can vary because certain patients with the same autoimmune disease diagnosis can have different symptoms. Generally, treatment for autoimmune disease is, uh, does not have a negative effect on a patient's life. Generally, treatment for autoimmune disease makes the person feel better. One of the things is that when you have an autoimmune disease, sometimes you don't feel in control. And certainly, targeted treatments have really helped to advance the field in rheumatology where we're attacking a certain part of the immune system, one little point, not the whole broad thing. For autoimmune diseases, we have a lot of different treatment choices. Uh, these include physical therapy, medications that can be given orally or by injection. We also use medications that we can infuse in our infusion centers. Early on these days, we also use biologic medications. So these are the medications that uh, we talked about that can interfere with the immune system and actually slow down or stop the progress of the disease. And more and more these days, we're recommending that these kinds of medications be used early on so that we can stop the disease before there is damage. What is typically expected with treatment is that when you first come in and you get your diagnosis from your rheumatologist, the rheumatologist will cover different types of medications that could be tried, and you and your rheumatologist will work together to find the first best trial, and then you follow up with your rheumatologist every four to six weeks until both you and the rheumatologist are assured that you're doing well and that this is the right dose and right medication for you. We monitor these medications uh, consistently to make sure you don't have side effects and that you can tolerate these medications and these actually help your disease. So we start by treating pain and getting patients more comfortable. We continue by improving physical function and improving activity, their, the ability to pursue activities of daily living. And all along the way, our job as rheumatologists is to prevent disability and to uh, prevent damage to the joints.